Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm, looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly- It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out!
Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, if we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stack's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Great dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those cannons keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! Can't 
reach the target. Keep moving, we need to get to the shuttles. seen it. Still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible, unless you've got access. We've gotta get you out of here, Shepard. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. That's I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs> Please read They're falling back. Okay. I promise I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the Lower Decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the Non-Alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. 
Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind, you need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. Whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? 
I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Should I recognize that name? Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a side effect of your recovery. You and Cerberus certainly have a history. According to the Alliance, we're a radical pro-human splinter group. You wiped out several of our research bases. But things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the Elusive Man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The Elusive Man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. We've been spotted. job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? 
Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why did you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. 
You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent Starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? 
Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear, and we've got no target to go after. We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. damage, and no signs of battle. Programmed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Dalizora, you served on my ship. You know what I do to people who threaten me. Praza, tell your team to put their weapons away. Damn it, Tally, this is bullshit. Why would your own commander work for Cerberus? I don't know, but if this is Shepard, I don't know. Shepard would have a reason. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. You should head back to your ship, Tally. We'll let you know when we find Vitor. Like hell. I'm not letting Cerberus take over. Neither am I, Praza. I don't want to fight you, Shepard, but I can't just let Cerberus handle this. Besides, we need to work together. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side.
Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Hostiles detected. Use overload on them. I want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Going to ground! gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Take it. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarm's coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarm. You're... not one of them. You're human. They... they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? 
My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We finally find a witness, and he's so off his nut he can't even tell us what he saw. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. The data from his Omnitool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing it. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, 
It could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. The Collectors are definitely a human enemy. But how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Where's Garrus Vakari? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collectors' paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? I've found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh?